Hello everyone, uh, today we're going to be talking about the Liverpool versus Arsenal game in the Community Shield, which finished 1-1. One, one. Got lots to discuss, lots to discuss, especially how we performed and uh, how we got ourselves out of sticky situations as well. Hello beautiful people, welcome to LFC Red Forever channel. Today we're going to be talking about obviously the Arsenal game uh, in the Community Shield versus Liverpool which finished 1-1. Uh, there's lots to talk about, especially how we played and uh, the chances we created as well as Arsenal chances as well. Obviously Arsenal scored uh, with Aubameyang uh, hitting it in the top corner, cutting in, cutting in from the right, uh, left hand side. And, uh, what angered me about that the most is the way William didn't like, push him out. I, I don't want to have a go at the kid. I think he's going to be a brilliant right back one day. But I don't know what you people think. I think he's not ready yet. It's not just being not ready. He's... He's a bit slow, so he doesn't know like want to pass, want to anticipate, want to run. It's just a lot of things hasn't come through with uh, uh, Nico Williams yet, and uh, I don't think he's ready yet. That's all I can say about him. I don't want to trust the kid. He's 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 a Liverpool through and through. He came from the youth system. He's been there since nine years old, but I've seen him in a few games now, and I just don't think he's ready. People, I know like, a lot of you think he's ready, but I no. no. No, uh, I, I I don't think he's ready. So as the game went on, we dominated. We was doing all right. We was like passing it left to right, left to right, forward, back. You know, like no ideas. This is why I've always said in the last few weeks, we need a dynamic player like Thiago in the middle to open up defenses. Uh, when you know when teams deep line defending is very hard. For Liverpool to break them, maybe two seasons ago, two seasons ago we was breaking them down and we would, we knew what we was doing. But now it's it's a predictable thing against Liverpool. The only way you could play against Liverpool or beat them is going to be like deep line defending. So we have to like find a way to do a through ball for our pacey players. But when there's no space, where are they going to run to the, to the obviously not 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 far, and that's what's been happening in these games and. Uh, Especially the teams we drop points with. To me, like I've told you guys before, it's since the pandemic, this, uh, so, sorry, since the winter break started, and we haven't recovered when we come back, and we're still struggling, like, to be the old Liverpool who attack and, you know, teams fear and all that stuff. Every time we take a break, we don't come back the same team. Uh, that's what we've got to work on, hopefully, in the season coming in two weeks' time. And uh, the first half, Yes, we dominated, but not created enough. And um, Salah, MIA, missing an action. Don't know where he is. I still don't know where he is, to be fair. Uh, I love the guy. I love what he's done for us. But when was the last time he beat a defender? When was the last time he did anything, to be fair? Like, uh, apart from scoring goals, like creating chances and the movements and all that stuff. Is he becoming too predictable? Do you have defenders found him out? Is he... Is that it? Like, what's the issue with Salah? Please comment below and let me know. Like, Because I'm confused about Salah at the moment. 90 minutes, I think he played. Anything? Like, scoring? I didn't see anything. But it's not only him, people. I can't keep. I can't just pick on him. Um, Firmino, same. Since we come back from the winter break. Even, to be honest, even uh, uh, from the beginning of last season. He scores a lot of away goals, but hasn't scored a lot of home goals either. And uh, he still hasn't done nothing to convince me that he can play every week. That's why I've been saying we need another striker to back him up. Like, you know, like Robertson, he was outstanding today because he knows there's Simicas uh, uh, behind him and pushing him. That's what we need in every position. I think when they put uh, uh, Gomez in the second half on right back, it was too late. He should have started right back. We should have had another centre back next to um, Van Dyke, and we would have like freed Gomez with his pace on the right side, and they wouldn't have that shot like Aubameyang had and all that stuff. See things like that, we've got to work it out. 
and uh, we're champions for crying out loud. What have we? What's the ambition next season, people? Because we haven't bought anyone again. Only one left back, which is obvious. You know what I mean? What is our ambition? Are we gonna push on? Because that's what champions do. They need to push on and go on for for the new season. Uh, just like to push to push forward and try to win it again, which is what I want. But what does Liverpool want? Why aren't we buying players? I know the pandemic happened, all that stuff, but these players need someone behind them pushing them, and we still haven't got anyone. I hope Thiago comes. I'm begging for Thiago to come. Hope he, he goes on holiday and comes back, and then we we, we buy him. But I'm not gonna give you a fake story. Oh, he's he's agreed for your contract and all this stuff. I, I don't. I'm not gonna say anything like that. I hope we're linked with him. I hope he arrives as soon as he uh, finishes his break as well. Uh, one album starts again ahead of uh, Keita. If we're unsure about one album, why is he starting games? Please explain that to me. You know what I mean? He hasn't committed his future to Liverpool. He doesn't want to sign a new contract. So if he's got ambitions else elsewhere, he's got to, like not play. I mean, until we sort his issue out, don't play the guy. Play the players that's gonna be here for the long term. If you know what I mean. And uh, Fabinho, I don't, I don't know what more to say about Fabinho. I love the guy. I complain a lot about him. I know that because he's a bit too slow, but he's a defensive midfielder. People, why is he always pushing forward and leaving the defense at the back um, isolated? You need to protect the back four, Fabinho. You don't need to go forward all the time. I like when you create goals and all that stuff, but. If you're not protecting the, the back four and the conceding goals, what's the use? Like We could just put another attacking midfielder in the middle and he could attack the other team and give us more pressure going forward. Just stay in front of the defence, protect them like Fernandinho does for Man City. Make sure there's no like balls going through or double up on players with, with the defence. You know what I mean? Things like that. But every time I see Fabinho, he's too far ahead and he doesn't recover quick enough, in my opinion. That's what he needs to work on. Get back to the Fabinho that played against City last season and scored a goal. He was protecting the defence. He was anticipating balls. That's what he needs to get back to. Um, Mane. Mane is in and out. I mean, I can't complain about Mane. He can't do it all on his own. And, uh, but people, we've got to be like, we've got to be ruthless. If you're champions, you've got to be ruthless. You've got to improve from last season. And if we're going to be like what we've done today, like this uh, Arsenal, we're more trouble than our first four, and it's hard to take as well. Penny issue at um, Allison. What can I say about Allison, people? Um, he's the best goalkeeper in the world by far, but in penny issue at, I think he's really poor. I'd, you know, I, I watched the game and I told my mates who support Arsenal, I said, you know what, you won the game. And they said, uh, be quiet because you know it's Allison in goal, he's gonna make a couple of penalties. I said, mate, he's not a good penalty sa uh, shot saver. I've seen Allison in penalty shootouts, shootouts before, and he's not very good, which shocks me. You know, what I mean, for an outstanding goalkeeper, he should be better than what he is. So, that's what he needs to train on, hopefully, uh, during um, the new season. Be dominant in. All areas of of the pitch, penalty shootouts, goal kicks, saving shots, grabbing balls, things like that. You need to like be good at all that stuff to be the best goalkeeper in the world. And he needs to improve. He needs to like know, you know, like the shape of the leg when they're taking the penalties. He needs to know where they're gonna go, which he doesn't. I think only one penalty in the game he went the right way, but he went above him that Louise penalty. I think the rest he went the wrong way. And Rian Brewster, keep your chin up, mate. It's not your fault we had one minute on the pitch and then, you know, penalty shoots at penny shoot at straight away. It ain't going to work like that. Nah, nah. It's not your fault. The senior players should have took charge of it, to be fair. I know it's a preseason game, people. We, we, just, yeah, we just need to improve. We've got a lot of improving to do because we are the champions, but we need to be like champions, not like struggling as teams like Arsenal and all that stuff. You know what I mean? Don't get me wrong, Arsenal is a good team. But they're not in our level, people. They're not in our level. By far, they're not in our level. Especially the way you saw the game. We dominated from the start to the finish. But the creating chances and, you know, set pieces and things like that didn't work out. We can't rely on right-back like uh, Trent Alexandra. He's a right-back. 
yes, he creates a lots of lots of chances. But what what about that midfield? What about other players? Why are they contributing things in the games so we can win it? Things like that we've got to work on people next season, yeah? Um I'll see you soon. Please like, share and subscribe, comment below and uh, have your opinion about the game. Uh, just tell me what you think of Salah and what do you think of um, the team formation. Do we need to change things? Uh, what's our aim next season? Are we going to need improvements more than one player? Maybe two or three? And um, What's our ambition? I mean, because my ambition is to win the league again. Is it your ambition as well? Please comment below, like, share and subscribe.